Thank you, Nikunj. Always a pleasure to come to ET now and uh, look forward to having a very uh, fruitful interaction with you. How does it feel to set the agenda for a news channel for the entire day? Well, uh, it's uh, uh, very challenging. <laughs> for Welcome you. to our world. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, you, you can set the agenda, but trust me, we'll struggle to find the basics of power also. <laughs> it's a very complicated sector for us to understand. Uh, okay. I agree with you that it's a very uh, complex and a very demanding sector where you need to do every time right. Okay. I'm just going to bring our views up to speed with the transformation of Tata Power from when you took over versus where the company stands now, 2019 to 2024. It was a backbencher stock. Market cap had plummeted. Debt to equity ratio was high. There were problems in terms of managing the power uh, demand versus supply equation. But things now for Tata Power has turned. So let's look at the graph of Tata Power, the stock graph from 2019 onwards. I'm using 19 as a benchmark, not 18 as a benchmark because 18 was an extraordinary time for the entire uh, you know, sector per se. So 2019 to 2024, Tata Power has been nothing short of what could be called as the real darling of the stock market. The stock has given returns of 400%. Debt to equity ratio has come down from almost, almost three to 1.1. They've invested 45,000 crore in CAPEX and they're committed now to really change as a company in terms of what it was versus what it is versus where it will be. It's a proud feeling, right? When you see the stock go up Forex. Thank you, thank you. It's great to see a 100-year-old company performing well and being contemporary for the future. So I think it's a matter of great satisfaction and pride and I feel blessed to be part of Tata Power. Why is this 100-year-old company now behaving like a startup? <laughs> <laughs> it is changing, it is transforming, it's it is adding new hour. businesses. Uh, I agree, the, but Tata Power has always been a very innovative company. 100 years back, the thought of generating clean power, the thought of bringing clean power to Mumbai, the transmission system, I think uh, that it was itself very innovative at that time, very disruptive at that time. And I think uh, Tata Power always believed in doing things first. And most of the things that have happened in the power sector, the first uh, mover advantage has been with Tata Power. So I think uh, there has been thought leadership and there has been action leadership of Tata Power right through. And we will continue to do that. Dr. Sinha, that startup power of back then, what's happening in Tata Power right now? Because, you know, much like autos, this is one sector which is going through very, very serious disruption and a lot of changes, perhaps on a minute by minute basis. Absolutely right. I think uh, energy transition is a big thing and mm. energy transition is a big thing because uh, it is the need of the hour, the climate change, sustainability. All this requires that we move away from the earlier way we used to produce power to the new way that we can produce power. And the first thing that we need to do is how do we move towards clean energy? But having said that, uh, now we need to find good solutions because clean energy cannot be intermittent clean energy. Um, most of the time we have seen clean energy is for uh, the solar is for a few hours or the wind is for a few hours. It's not there right through the year. So how do we make it uh, more reliable? And for that, I think the transition has to be that we need to get to storage, whether it is the chemical storage or electrochemical or, or, or mechanical storage in terms of pumped hydro. So I think there is a necessity to make it 24-7. And some of the research globally that is happening, some of the work that is happening globally, which we are trying to uh, implement over here, uh, we are very confident that by end of this decade, we'll have very, very attractive solution. And uh, this will become a reality that we will have 24-7 uh, uh, clean energy solutions with whether it is pumped hydro or battery storage or uh, some of the other alternatives that we are looking, including the SMRs, these small modular nuclear reactors. So I think um, you will see huge transition uh, in the coming years.